In fact, since we're already here, how about we put Tom Nook on the Hogwarts Express? Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. This is so cute. This would make a really great Christmas gift. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Special thanks to my channel members for helping support this channel through difficult times. Sometimes I do build a bear videos and today is one of them. We're gonna be talking about the new Harry Potter collection that has been released. It's actually been a couple of weeks. I'm a little late to the party, but I was just kind of on the fence as to whether or not I wanted to purchase it. So they came out with Hedwig and Buckbeak as well as a bunch of bears that represent each house, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff. I personally am a Ravenclaw, so I did buy some items from that collection, but I didn't buy the actual Ravenclaw bear because I already own a bunch of Build-A-Bear bears that I could just put those clothes on. But keep in mind that if you do have house pride and you wanna buy a special bear from your house, they are available and they are reasonably priced, but I was already buying so much from Build-A-Bear at the time that I didn't really wanna go to the extreme of having to buy that as well. Like I said, I decided to buy Hedwig and he did arrive. The one thing I hate about Build-A-Bear when I order from them is that they use FedEx and FedEx does not update their tracking at all so I just get an email notification that the package ships and then my tracking number from FedEx does not update even after the package has already been delivered so I never know when to expect it so this package which is a really big one because I'm splitting this into multiple videos arrived when I wasn't even home and that's very concerning to me I hate it and I would buy this in stores instead except usually when there's new releases they're online exclusives first which is the same for Harry Potter at the time that I'm filming this video this is an online exclusive and we know it's eventually gonna hit stores but it always takes a while and I like to get these videos up as soon as possible so this is Hedwig a snowy beautiful owl and the wings do move they are separated from the body so they have like kind of a flapping motion they have the detailing at the bottom with his feathers I think it's very cute it's very soft um, I'm surprised they didn't overstuff it. You know, everyone has a different preference for how their bears are stuffed. I generally like mine kind of in the middle between very firm and very soft. And I think this is a good middle ground. Um, and it has a cute little tail. And then on his feet, one of them says Build-A-Bear and the other one says Harry Potter. So I'm going to have the price of this bear right here. It didn't come with any sounds or anything, like any clothing bundles. It's very cute though. I'm very happy with it. They also have a special like Harry Potter gift box that you can choose. So instead of the condo, you can get this box right here. Again, I chose not to because this isn't a gift for anyone. This is for myself, but it is a cute option as well. I'm really happy that they've expanded their Harry Potter line to the extent that they have right now because they have the Horcrux, they have like the Hufflepuff cup, they have acceptance letters, which I did buy for Hedwig and I'm about to pull it out. There's a little acceptance letter that he can hold. And I love those types of accessories, especially if you are in a particular house because that way you can show house pride with your stuffed animal. And kids, I feel like as a little kid, that's extra special so here is the hogwarts acceptance letter this is six dollars it is very pretty um it has kind of like that velcro and then it just opens up and it is blank at the top where it says gear so i think that's nice that you can add someone's name to it or your own name to it it's very cute it says dear blank we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry we very much look forward to receiving you as part of the new generation of hogwarts heritage yours sincerely professor mcgonagall I love that, that is so cute. There's like a little bear outline. I didn't actually read it till now. I thought that was beautiful. But yes, yeah, so it does have Velcro. Um, so I don't know how, let me see. Oh, I see, I see. I guess the Velcro kind of sticks to his beak. I gotta cut the tag. But as you can see right there, it sticks to his beak, which is pretty cute. I didn't notice that till now. I mean, it also has a tie, so I guess you could tie it to um, a stuffed animal's hand, but that's cute. Okay, I clipped off the tag, so I'm gonna stick it in his beak again, and it's really cute. I really like that. I think that's adorable. Um, yeah, so his beak is a little bit open. His, I keep saying his, her beak, sorry. Her beak is a little bit open, so you can just pop it in, and it stays pretty well, honestly, because of the Velcro. So that's cute. I like that. That's a nice idea. So that's the accessory I got. I also got the Hogwarts Express, but I don't think Hedwig's gonna fit nicely, but we're gonna give it a shot. This is the Hogwarts Express. 
<laughs> it's making me laugh seeing it on screen. It's a nice, decent size, and your bear, whether it's a Harry Potter bear or not, can fit in here, and I'm gonna show you that. So I'll show you with Hedwig first, then we're also gonna pop one of my other ones in. So you just pop it in here, and off they go. It's so cute. <laughs> this would look good like on someone's bed or something. It's adorable. That is the front of it. Zoom, zoom. That's not how trains go. Choo-choo, right? I don't know. But it's adorable. It's cute. I think it'll look better with a traditional bear. So that's what I'm going to try right now. This is one of my bears from a couple years ago. I have never changed this outfit since the day I got it. This was a Valentine's Day outfit. I'm going to pop him right in. Or her. I don't know. And there you go. Yeah, it looks cuter with like a traditional bear. But I'm obsessed. I'm happy with it. I think this is adorable. And yeah. I feel like, I feel like I'm not sure how the thumbnail of this video is going to go. In fact, since we're already here, how about we put Tom Nook on the Hogwarts Express. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. This is so cute. This would make a really great Christmas gift. So, along with that, like I said, I did buy the accessories, which is only two. I could have sworn I bought more than this, but probably not. Because stuff like this, accessories I deliver just add up so quickly. I got my bear uh, Ravenclaw robes, which is really cute and it has like the crest of Ravenclaw on it and then I got them the little scarf which is like so so cute they also have like the diadem of Ravenclaw they have the horcrux um the locket of Slytherin they have a lot of things did I say horcrux I think I meant the locket of Slytherin but there's a lot of cute things they have the sword of Gryffindor if you're a Gryffindor Hufflepuff cup all that stuff I think it's a lot of fun to even just browse even if you're not gonna buy it but yeah I think this is really cute and I'm excited for it it even has like the tie and everything the hood with slits for their ears I mean you can't go wrong with that anyway if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching I love doing these build a bear videos so I'm gonna put them into a playlist that way you can watch them more easily because I know I'm a bit of a variety channel and I always have like a bunch of different things going on because I can't stick to a niche it's just really hard for me but if you made it to the end once again thank you so much stay safe out there and i will see you very soon with another video and more build a bear videos to come as well bye